Revenge Films. Hi, my name is Hayden. Today, I'm going to tell a story from 10 years ago. I used to have a colleague named Lillian at work. Lillian was a beautiful girl who always dressed in style. However, Hayden, you always dress up so girly. We are like the complete opposite. What do you mean? Do you spend a lot of time doing makeup every day? How long does it normally take? Makeup? I don't wear much makeup, really. Getting up is torture for me. I always sleep till the last minute, so I don't have much time for makeup. Wow, really? There must be someone like you in the company, right? Is it Tom from the sales department? But I think he's out of your league, though. I'm sure he likes girls with good style. Even though you put on makeup, have a girly look and everything, your style is not that great. As you can probably tell, Lillian was a self-centered person with an unpleasant personality. She also slacked off a lot at work and was always late. Almost everyone in her department disliked her. Later, Lillian got pregnant with a child of the man she was dating. So she suddenly decided to get married and handed in her resignation letter. Her child's father was Tom, the guy from sales that Lillian was talking about. Oh, that's why she asked me if I liked Tom. Turns out she was going after him herself. Our department and Tom's department had little collaboration. And I also didn't really get along with Lillian, so I had no intention of attending their wedding. But since my boss said he was going, everyone in our department felt like we had to go as well. So we all ended up attending the wedding. On the wedding day, apart from a Lillian's parents and colleagues from work, Lillian's only guest from her school years was a woman named Shannon. Shannon was a reserved and quiet person, which was in sharp contrast with Lillian. I am surprised that Lillian is a friend from school. And she's completely different from Lillian. And she's probably different from Lillian. It was surprising for us to see that Lillian had a friend. I heard she's the one who will give the maid of honor speech. It was even more surprising when we found out Lillian's only friend was going to give the speech. If she's going to give the maid of honor speech, that must mean she and Lillian are very close friends, right? But no matter how you look at them, they don't look like they'd get along very well because they're different as night and day. I wonder what she'll say about Lillian in her speech. I'm starting to look forward to it. The wedding proceeded smoothly. But because all my colleagues didn't want to go to Lillian's wedding in the first place, everyone started to get bored. After the best man speech, it was finally time for the maid of honor speech. Now, please welcome Shannon, Lillian's best friend from school, to give us the maid of honor speech. After the MC's introduction, Lillian's only friend, Shannon, went onto the stage. Shannon looked very dull and plain, especially compared to Lillian. Even though she was giving the maid of honor speech, she was giving off a gloomy vibe that didn't quite match the liveliness of the wedding. She doesn't look happy at all. She's probably just nervous. Maybe she's deeply moved by her best friend's wedding. Then Shannon started her speech amidst a sparse applause. Nobody knew that the wedding would take a bad turn from there. I met Lily in the first year of high school, and I've been looking forward to this day since then. I had a dull, boring personality throughout elementary and middle school. Back then, I didn't have any friends and was constantly getting bullied. It was not easy for me to make friends, so I was mostly by myself even after high school. But one day, Lillian approached me. Isn't this surprising? I never thought Lillian would have such a side to her. It was not just me. All my colleagues were surprised too. Wow, Lillian's surprisingly nice! I wonder why your personality has changed so much since then. While everyone was talking about how unexpected it was, suddenly... And I've been living as Lillian's slave since then. Shannon dropped a bombshell. Wow, what did she say? Wow, what kind of real life drama is this? All the guests started murmuring, but what came next in Shannon's speech was even more shocking. I lost my virginity during the winter break in my first year of high school. Lillian wanted to buy a present for her boyfriend before Christmas. So she brought a stranger to me and forced me to do it with him. Then she took all the money that stranger paid me. After that, Lillian started to blackmail me with the photo she secretly took. She started threatening me, saying she would send the pictures to my parents and tell them their daughter's making money doing that. I was so scared and worried that Lillian would spread those pictures. I couldn't fight back, 
and I also couldn't escape. In the end, our money-making slave type of relationship continued until I was in college. There was a deadly silence in the hall. All the guests were sitting there quietly. Even the colleagues who just laughed at Lillian became silent. I looked at Lillian, who was sitting at the sweetheart table with Tom. Her face turned super pale, and she was obviously speechless. A man sitting next to the stage tried to stop Shannon from continuing the speech. But Shannon was very determined to finish her speech. She continued to expose how Lillian stole her boyfriend and forced her to work at a nightclub to make more money. Lillian started yelling. It's not true! This woman is lying! She was bullied and had no friends because she's always been a liar! Have you forgotten what I did for you? I made friends with you despite how dark and gloomy you were, you ungrateful bitch! But Shannon ignored her completely and played the recordings from her phone. It was a conversation between Lillian and her before the wedding. I got pregnant by one of my bosses at work, but he's a married man with children. Oh, I told you about him before, Mr. Robinson, the one who always liked me. What? Am I gonna have the baby? Of course I am. Married men are a pain in the ass to deal with, especially when their wives find out about their affairs. So I'm marrying Tom instead and pretending the baby I'm having is his. He makes much more than me, so it's all good. Tom was reluctant about getting married in the beginning, but he agreed right away when I told him I'm pregnant. The recorded conversation was about Lillian's pregnancy. The father of Lillian's baby turns out to be her former boss in another department. Because she was dating her former boss and Tom simultaneously, she dumped the former boss after getting pregnant and married Tom. Her former boss, Mr. Robinson, was at the wedding with his wife. His wife got furious at him after hearing Shannon's recordings. Oh my god! What the hell did you do?! Tom, the groom, didn't look so well after finding out about the truth. Lillian went crazy beside him and kept screaming. Her parents were also in utter shock. The event staff rushed to the stage and tried to get Shannon out of the wedding hall. Wait, I'm not done yet! She seemed to have a lot more to say, but she never returned to the wedding after being escorted out. It didn't feel like a wedding anymore. While Tom was still in a daze, his parents went up to Lillian and said, How dare you lie to us! We're calling off the wedding! You and Tom are not getting married! And you're covering all the wedding fees! Get ready to pay us compensation too! The wedding turned into a disaster and total chaos. Because the wedding was canceled midway, all the wedding gifts from the guests were returned to us before we left. Later, everything Shannon said at the wedding was proven true, and Lillian and Tom didn't get married. Lillian's former boss, Mr. Robinson, also got a divorce. Beside that, people around him started to look at him coldly. His boss worried that his presence would create a negative impact on the work atmosphere. So Mr. Robinson was demoted to doing unimportant work in a remote location. Tom, the poor groom, was mortified at the wedding. He never showed up at work again and resigned shortly after. Because of the scale and number of people involved in the story, it's become a company legend. And people are still talking about it 10 years later. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.